Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales and thanks for joining me in this, the Radio Shop Review. And there hasn't been one of these for a number of months because we've been so busy really. Uh, and I'll tell you a bit more about that in later on in the show. But what we've got coming up today, we've got some music from Moe's Anthill, some pickup news, and also some awesome guitar playing from our customer Marcus Darby. So as I said, I haven't done a Radio Shop Review since December, I don't think. So I'm really gonna take this kind of month by month what we've been up to for those of you who like following us. And in January, we made a bit of a road trip, really. Myself, Paul Dunn, and Chris Buck, we all went down to Grey Guitars of London and went to Teddington to meet Tom. Absolutely brilliant day out, basically. Um, we got to play Tom's guitars and also discuss the pickups that we're gonna be making for Tom. And in the following months, we started to supply our pickups to Tom. And there was a very special guitar, one of the, uh, well, they're all special, but one of the ones went off to uh, a quite a well-known chap called Justin Sandico. And we made a strange sort of pickup lineup, which was a path in the bridge, uh, Chris, ID Chris Buck in the middle, and then a Radiotron, which is our sort of, sort of Filtertron in the neck. And I, you know, it's just a, a really sort of strange combination um, we've never been asked for before, but I think those of you who've seen the video, which I'm just going to put a little sort of picture of um, up above somewhere, one somewhere anyway, um, it was a brilliant, sounds great. And with the switching options that Tom puts in his guitar, I thought it made a really, really versatile um, guitar. And, and it's a massive honor for us to be associated with both Justin Guitar and of course with Tom Gray and Gray Guitars and lots of exciting news coming up there but we, it's a big honor for us to supply the pickups for such a, a great UK company. And um, so yeah, that was the big news in January. February was all about the guitar show. So it was us gearing up for the guitar show. And when we actually got there, one of our plans this year was because it, it's so noisy at the guitar show we thought we'd do something visual and what better to do visual than actually do some pickup winding so Paul Dunn was there and it caused a bit of a stir really um, we were there on our stall and you know we'd have all our guitars people could try out and everything and the amplifiers and pickups all laid out but as soon as we started winding the pickups as many of you know from the videos we post you know people were just stood there like mesmerized they're like well are you winding a pickup I was like, and then they'd have so many questions about it. You know, do you break easily? L lots of different things. It was just brilliant, really, to engage with people and their questions about pickup making, which, of course, you know, the, the questions we had in the beginning, but it was long since forgotten. So it's just great to sort of initiate them, and people would just stand and watch for like ten minutes. I just watched while Paul wound. I think it was Monterey. He was winding a lot of that day. So it was a great show. We got to meet some some awesome people. We got to meet Guitar George finally. Uh, who's a guitar tech who does a lot of um, work with our pickups and lots and lots of different people. We met Mike Bradley, we got to meet Tom Gray again and go to his stall, try out his blue guitar, his Emperor, which is absolutely amazing. So we had a wonderful show up in Birmingham and of course in the night, you know, we had a couple of drinks and a lovely curry with Guitar George. So it was a really, really nice kind of weekend away, if you like. Um, the next thing that happened then, we had a little visit to the studio, uh, David Sayer, or David Sayer, um, he visited us, he's a local player known to us and a really, really nice player. He did some Telecaster clips for us and you can see a little clip coming up here now of, of David in action. Really, really lovely player. Thanks very much, David, for, for popping around and, and doing a couple of videos with us. There's, there's lots more on the YouTube channel with David in action with the Telecaster pickups. Uh, he's a really tasteful sort of finger style player. Um, the next big thing that happened was sort of around about March time was that we had another visit to the workshop. And this time it was Guitarist Magazine who approached us to do one of their workshop features, which, which was like a five page spread. So obviously we said yes. And then we got to uh, welcome David Mead and Ollie uh, the uh, cameraman to um, the workshop and they were we gave them the tour and we did an interview with them and of course we we're really proud to be featured in Guitarist magazine and some pictures are coming up now which is showing off this sort of the um, the spread that they did for us which was you know 
overwhelming really uh, and to be on a magazine or in a magazine rather which had David Gilmore on the front and it's like ready shot pickups obviously a really proud moment for us but as you can see from the main picture there um, our dog Will kind of stole the show a little bit you know it's supposed to be about me and Danny but uh, you know the real star I think you'd agree actually was Will the dog there the uh, little Parsons Terrier so that was brilliant really getting Guitarist magazine and then the feature that came out um, somebody I mentioned earlier on was Mike Bradley. We met him at the show, we got talking to him and we wanted to see if he would like to come along and try some pickups. So we made him a set and we're gonna be doing a signature set with Mike. And so we did a Mark one, did a little video and he came up to the, vid to the uh, workshop and did a bit of recording for us and take a listen. <laughs> So quite sim similar to when we developed the Chris Buck set, we go through a number of marks, so like Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, and make refinements. So that was Mark 1 of the set, and Mike's come back with a bit of feedback, so we're working on Mark 2 now. It's a, it's a slow process because we're so busy, but we are getting onto it, so that will be, we'll go through the marks with, uh, with Mike, and we'll get to a really, really lovely refined set of pickups, which will be available for you guys. But they sounded great, but we're gonna tweak it a little bit, I think, on that one. Um, we're gonna to go to some music now. Last year, in the Radio Shop Review, we featured a, a German band, sorry, a Swiss German band, called Moe's Ant Hill. And we absolutely love their music. And what I wanted to do was actually just feature them again, because I thought it was such a good clip last time. So I've got a live clip. Um, I'm kind of jealous, really, because I know they were recently playing in, in Ireland. I wish they'd come to Wales or somewhere like Bristol, where we could have seen them live. Um, so, but here's a clip, a live clip of Moe's Ant Hill, and some tour dates will be coming across the bottom as well. Thanks very much to Moe's to, for supplying that and to Michael for using the pickups and uh, helping to spread the word on our pickups. Check them out, their, their web address is, is below as well. Now, other news, new pickups that we've been working on, there's always stuff happening basically. Um, something that caused quite a stir early on in the year was the um, humbucker shaped P90s. People seem to go nuts for them. Can I have one of those? Oh, can I have some? So we do this kind of WSR thing, which is a workshop special run. We do it from time to time, but you know, when we're really busy, you, you know, can fall behind a little bit. But some of the WSRs that we've done, we've done the Radiotron, which is our Filtertron. That's gonna be launched on the website soon. You, you can order them now, but it's just not fully done on the website yet. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, we've got a really exciting pickup set coming up, a Strat set, which we're calling the Radio Shop Strat Signature Set. Um, so, like the Chris Buck set, but this is kind of me and Dunny's signature pickup set. And it's, gonna be quite different. It's gonna, like before, it's gonna feature some things which no other pickup maker has done before. And that's all I wanna say at this point. We're working on it, it's coming fairly soon, and it will offer some twists, which I think people are going to find quite appealing, okay? But also, obviously, 
As always with Radio Shop, it will be in the kind of traditional mold, but there'll be tweaks, which other pickup manufacturers are not offering. So that's the Radio Shop signature Strat set coming fairly soon. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Um, what else have we been working on? Oh, a big hit was our ooh, inspired by Dark Side of the Moon set. I think you could call it quite cheekily. Inspired by the Black Strat, I think that's what we called it. And this is a, an exact copy of a very famous set of pickups that are in a very famous Black Strat. Some of you, I think, can work it out, really. Um, I put some images on the screen so you can see. But I think we've got one of these sets left, and they cause a bit of a stir. We have people going, oh, yeah, do we one of those? So we only did one, I think, on a request for someone, and then someone saw a picture and was like, can I have one of those? And it ended up being a WSR. And as I say, I think we've got one set of those left. So if you want one, um, give it, get in touch. What else have we been working on? Let me try and think now. I'm obviously not reading off a list I've got there, am I? No. Right. Website. Right, if you look at our website, I think it looks good. That's because somebody else did it for us. So my sort of stock uh, answer for this is that we're better at making pickups, reassuringly. We're better at making pickups than we are at making websites. So somebody designed the website for us. It looks really good. It's, it's a little bit basic now, I think, but it's me who actually maintains it, and I just do the best that I can, okay? So changes are happening quite quickly now on there. And I think they look pretty good as well. We've added an artist section so you can see who actually uses our pickups. We've added a luthier section so you can see who we supply with pickups for their guitars. And we're also adding a guitar techs list. Those people who, the, their work we recommend if you need any repairs done on your guitar. But also they, you know, our pickups are available through these guys. So you can have a look through, see who's in your area if you wanna get some work done on your guitar. If you're not on that list, it is like an early version of that list. Get in touch, guys. You know, if you want to supply the pickups, obviously, and you're a guitar tech, just get in touch and we'll, we'll put you on there. Um, yeah, so that's, the website is evolving. There's lots of options being added, like the, the, the little intricate things, but they're just small developments, little bits of progress, really. And it's just me doing the best I can with these lines of code. Because when I'm there ad adapting the website, I look at the code and I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, my, 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 brain feels like it's about to bend because you've got like semicolons here and you know things going out everywhere. I'm doing the best with the code and I think it looks quite good. So have a look at the website, take a little tour around. There's a new sort of tab up on the top right which is called Inspiration and that's something that's completely new there. And I think me and Danny are gonna do our top five albums of all time. Maybe some favorite guitarist lists as well. That'll, that's bound to be controversial because people won't agree with us probably because uh, we wanna put Bob Dylan on there for influence, okay, right? So keep an eye on the inspiration page. There'll be lots being added on there. Now, thank you very much for watching this. I promise it won't be so long till the next Radio Shop review. Well, I'll try anyway. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And we're going to close this show um, in, in the tradition of the old sort of Radio Shop review videos. We're going to use some sort of customer tones now. And this is Marcus Darby. Uh, we met him at the show as well, which was really lovely. He's had about three or four sets off us, a couple of t-shirts as well. And here he is in action on his YouTube channel, and I'll put some details below. If you could head over and see his YouTube channel, he's got some really good videos on there, especially with drum clips on there as well. So that's well worth checking out, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit subscribe, of course, and I'll speak to you again.